Hi Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we are going to find out what's the most important communication coming up for you within seven days. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. Today is the 4th of April, 2023. Time here in Milan, Italy is 3.11 3.11 p.m. <laughs> Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. If you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same signs. All right, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and Angels, please show me for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. What's the most important communication coming up for them within seven days? Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so there's the Hermit here. This indicates wisdom. So I feel like there could be, a, of course, we're asking about important communication, right? So this is a very important communication coming from someone older, wiser. Um, but also the Hermit is a Virgo. Um, perhaps it comes from a Virgo an earth sign, can be any sign, but a Virgo, Virgos are highly intuitive, so for me, this could be an indication of also, because, you know, the Hermit is in the dark, and then holding this lamp right here, so searching for some answers, for some of you, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, if you've been searching for some answers, you're feeling kind of lost, Perhaps uh, a very important communication will happen if you were to seek for some advice from someone either older, more mature, or someone intuitive. For example, a psychic or a tarot reader. I mean, it could be any from any of these people or sources, but it's, again, it's something very wise, okay? Um... Perhaps it's something you've been searching for, for some answers. And I guess these communications are very important because it will help you solve um, solve anything, issues, solve, um, or to give you the answers that you may want to know, okay? Answer that you've been searching for. We've got the page of wands here, my first. This is... Um, a fire energy, right? Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Three of Pentacles here, and what first? Yeah. I keep getting, you know, Three of Pentacles is a consultation energy, um, but the Three of Pentacles and what first, instead of, I feel like, because Pentacles is something realistic, something tangible, something organized, structured, um, something that can be kind of like black and white there's no gray area um i feel like this very important communication comes from not these kind of places um <laughs> it's weird because this is like it kind of makes me feel like it's not about it's not about something logical it's not coming from a place where it has been done over and over again i hope that makes sense this communication is coming from either the spiritual world so keep an open mind okay obviously if you're watching this video you're somewhat spiritual if not some of you could be religious as well with the heart font here so this important communication could come from yeah, the spiritual realm, realm, um, spiritual world, okay, cannot quite pronounce that world, that word, realm, <laughs> but anyway, it feels like that, to be honest, so this communication could come from your ancestors, from your spirit guides, um, 
even when you're dreaming, okay? When you're sleeping, you're dreaming, if you dream of something, that's actually a very important communication. That means Google it. If you dream of something, anything of significance, just Google the meaning of the dream. And also bear in mind how it made you feel while you were dreaming, okay? Um, did it make you feel scared? Did it make you feel happy? Did it make you feel angry or anxious? So these are also important keys um, in terms of finding out the interpretation of your dream. So I feel like Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio, for a lot of you, pay attention to your dreams, okay? I think this will be your important communication coming in it's through your dreams and it could be from again some of your ancestors or spirit guides would like to give you a message and also pay attention to signs for example if you were to see feathers if you were to see butterflies birds anything of anything that is you know even a bug you know it depends what kind of bug like I'm uh, Malaysian Chinese, so we believe um, if there's suddenly out of nowhere there's a moth or a butterfly that that's in your house, or it could be a cricket, it could be a dragonfly, something that is not common, okay? Something that you'll be like, why is this? <laughs> why is this? For example, why is this butterfly in my house? Right? Why is this moth in my house? I've never seen anything like this before or or that it has never happened before. If someone maybe has happened before but perhaps very rarely. Maybe it could be a spider, it could be anything, okay? So it could be coming from your dreams. It could also be coming from um it could manifest these important mess messages could manifest in in um in animals or in bugs or anything that you feel could be kind of rare like it it's it could you will feel it you will be like what is this thing doing here right you will stumble upon it while you're walking or it's in your house in your room somewhere in your bathroom anywhere or in your dreams okay because if you look at the clouds here and then the hermit like the hermit's like nighttime and the clouds kind of makes kind of make it look like you know in the cloud like it's not real so this could be again these important messages could manifest itself in your dreams or in animals yeah because look there are some uh, birds here little birds well it looks little because it's far away but Three of Wands. See, there are some boats or ships here. This Three of Wands is an entrepreneurship um, energy, okay? Could indicate your ship is sailing in soon. Um, I feel like this could also be this important message that's coming in is coming in soon yeah it could mean that it could be related to your business for those of you starting a new business or currently struggling with your business with your career or with your money through your pentacles you have a verse perhaps some of the the answer that you could be searching for would come to you in a form of a dream yeah, or it, for some of you, the higher fun you can indicate if you are a Christian or if you're a Muslim, doesn't matter your whatever your religion is. It could be somebody out of nowhere saying something, reciting, for example, like uh, I, I I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I've heard <laughs> my friends reciting, you know, in, like from the Bible or even I have friends who are Muslims, Christians, I, I think most of us have friends who have different religion and all of that. And you hear them talk about their religion and what they believe. And of course, some of them, they try to like <laughs> convert you, which I do have few friends who would like try to convert me and try to kind of, I wouldn't say lecture, 
but give me advice or but you know I, I'm I always have a an open mind when it comes to religion spirituality I don't really um pick and choose I'm just open to hearing whatever and then I will process it and if I want to believe it I believe it if I don't want to believe it I I won't say anything about it it's just between me and God at the end of the day right so the higher fund here feels like you, your important message may also come from a friend um, who may have your best interest okay it could be spiritually it's spiritual spiritually or religiously okay in a spiritual form like for example tarot um psychic or it could be in a form of religion okay just keep an open mind it doesn't matter okay i feel even buddhism it could be anything coming from a monk coming from um any sorts of advice because the heart fund is also an advisor right so it feels like this is more of it's not something really tangible it doesn't feel like that so this these important messages could come in in a way where it takes a much deeper understanding it doesn't it's not so black and white um some people may agree to it and some people may not agree to it so it's like a deeper it comes from it comes from your soul that's what i'm sensing here it's much much deeper than than just anything that is black and white or obvious i would say okay so it may not have to do with the reality of things for some of you it could also be i'm hearing brainwash this may end up brainwashing you <laughs> but it's not a bad thing like it, it just changes your mind changes your outlook uh, in how you deal with your life or deal with a situation or deal with certain circumstances or scenario difficulties challenges in your life okay so i feel like you're the actually water signs pisces cancer and scorpio this is actually the only reading the other signs it's like coming from people coming from a particular individual but for you this reading it feels like it's coming from a completely different different source okay um, very mystical as well for some of you okay and we've got the queen of pentacles here knight of cups so it comes from care it comes from love so somebody who cares about you somebody who loves you you know um it doesn't have to be one person in particular but it it could also be just like a podcaster or a youtuber right giving you some advice so those important messages um could be actually useful for you that's coming in and some of you you may be seeking for some financial advice right because of the queen of pentacles here and it feels like also whoever who's going to be giving you these important messages they are being looked up they are, be, they are being respected for the line of work that they do um so i guess those are important messages um coming from not just anybody right from words of wisdom people who are very wise people who have been through these things before or have analyzed it have practiced it has been practicing it may have a bunch of followers right these two people here are students so followers that respect them so these important messages could be coming from these people Okay, and Ace of Wands here is in reverse. Seven of Cups. There will be a lot of messages, important messages being thrown at you, I feel. Uh, some of you, it's in your dream again. Seven of Cups, some of you, it's you. It, they are coming from people who have experienced it, people who are wise. Um, it could be related to love as well. Nine of Cups, love advice. 
or money financial advice. And this could also be Spirit's way of saying, because the Page of Swords is someone who gains information, right? The way the page is looking at the hermit here, it feels like, it's like I need more information. I need to extract more information from somebody who is more experienced, somebody who is more mature or wise about this situation, about this particular subject. So it definitely makes me feel that these important messages or communication comes from a certain source that cares about people in general uh, or a person in particular who cares about you, okay? Hmm. And Spirit says you're going to see it. You're going to see it, you're going to hear it, or you're going to dream about it, okay? Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, this is your reading. And I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Uh, kindly subscribe to both of my channels, Chelsea Love Tarot and Chelsea Tarot 2.0. And yeah, um, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you like to be notified every time when I post your videos. Take care. Hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.